When did you start uh, getting involved in music? I was called out of the classroom. I was third grade, eight years old. Mrs. Baker takes me into a room. There's a piano. She hits a note. A, I sing it. C, I sing it. D, I sing it. She does about 10, 12, some sharps, some flats. Little paper. Oh, you seem to have a very good ear, Yale. Uh, give this paper to <coughs> excuse me. Would you uh, be kind to take this paper to your mother uh, or fa and father? Uh, oh, sure, Mrs. Baker. Well, you know, okay, bye. Yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, music, piano. I go home. I give my mom the paper. I don't look at it. No, I don't care what it says. What kid does? Unless it was a paper like, you know, you, you did bad and maybe I would rip it up and lose it. <laughs> and my mom's reading and she says, oh, Yale, you passed the music test. You have a good ear. Mrs. Baker is offering free violin lessons. She's going around to certain public schools in the Detroit public school system. Uh, all you have to do is provide a $25 monthly fee for the rental of the violin and you get to go out of the classroom once a week on a Thursday for 40 minutes. Guess what? The only thing I heard was one thing. Get to go out of the classroom for 40 minutes. What kid's not going to say, I'm there, sign me up, Mom. I'm out of the classroom. <laughs> so I can be playing the bassoon now or hurdy-gurdy <laughs> or the harmonica, you know, or playing nothing, perhaps. Because like I said, my dad played the radio, as he said very well. My mom played the piano, but they weren't the parents like, okay, now you must have play an instrument. It wasn't in my parents' vocabulary. So I started their public lessons. And I, uh, then we moved to San Diego. I started private because there wasn't public lessons. And now with private, now I, I was practicing, but now I have to practice because if we're going to fork out 25 bucks a week, we don't want you just pulling out the violin an hour before the lesson. And um, uh, about the age of 14, I started not liking the violin. I was disliking, in fact. I'd have to come home from school. So, you know, you're in middle school, now you have homework, maybe you have something to do with clubs, and then a little time to go play, hang out with your buddies. Homework, if there was anything to do with clubs, or Hebrew school, which I can't, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't always fond of, it was boring sometimes. And then practicing, what the hell? That leaves no time, or five minutes, to, you know, it's like, oh, crap, man, I, you know, you know. And it was like, you know, and I'm practicing the scales and the... The uh, the Shermer exercise with Wolfgang, you know, dee 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 dee, you know, whatever. So I would go in my bedroom uh, and turn on the Padre games. There would be, I think, it would be on the weekends, but sometimes during the week too. If if I turned the baseball because I love baseball, so the Padres, the professional team here. If he turned on at the first pitch, at the first inning, the very first pitch, my, the time allotted to the fourth inning of the first pitch would be the amount of time I had to practice. Oh, about the same, you know, unless there was a lot of scoring, but uh, average. And so I would have that I said, really soft for my earplugs. Are you, oh yes, mom, you know. And, you know, so obviously my teacher sees me not progressing after many months, like Yale, you know, like this is not, this is not happening, this is sorry. And I see you're not interested, you're really, and I said, no, I'm, I was, about, I was ready to quit, I was ready to quit, you know. And she says, well, before you quit, let's try one other thing. What? There is a youth symphony that's uh, here in town, and um, it's made up of youth from the ages of whether 12 to 18, of uh, musicians from all over the county, but you, you have to try out, and it's a very uh, well-respected symphony. They play concerts, and they, and they play in different places around the city. And so um, they're going to have tryouts in a month. Why don't we prepare you? What, you want to try out for it? And I think, yeah, that sounds like fun because what she did is she hit the nerve. I'm very competitive. So that means a trial, you have to compete. You, gotta, you, you have a goal. So I practice, practice, practice. We go to the audition, and it's an audition where I can't see. I can hear them, so it's a blind audition. I can't, you know, see the conductor and her or I didn't know, her or him. I know it's a her now because I, I, I saw who it was. And she's in there, and she's kicking ass. Oh, my God. Vivaldi. You know, like, Dad. I go, I said to my dad, shit, Dad, Dad. That's a type that's in there. I can't go in there. Forget about it. I, I mean, what? Still, you know, confidence, yeah. Yeah, right, Dad. You, you go in there. I, you know, that's not like a mini hyphens in there. How am I going to play? 
So I go in there and I play, and I do pick up the violin. And he says, um, can you play this piece? You have to sight read something. And I start and I remember the violin, you know, a violin is vibrato. But I, my whole, I was, uh, <laughs> after about eight bars, <laughs> the conductor says, are, are, you seem to be a little nervous. I, can you tell? Yes, I am a little nervous. And he, he says, says, that's okay. I was nervous too when I tried out. This, that's all right. And he told a little story. He was, he was a wonderful person, a wonderful teacher. So he talked a little bit for about five minutes. He says, let me hear you play something, anything you want to play. I just want to get a sense of your tone. And listen, I'm not, not judging you on that piece that we were just trying to start with because I know you're, but take a deep breath. And so I played something I can't remember from by heart and uh, left. And I said, forget it. <laughs> you know, and I just put it off my mind. Two weeks later, a phone call rings. Yeah, you've actually, we accepted you. We want you to be in the youth symphony. And I, wow, I made it. And, you know, the challenge, wow, I did it. So I go, my dad takes me, and, uh, and for my dad, it was on Shabbos. They would meet on Shabbos, right? They're not going to meet on Sunday, you know, you know, you know, God forbid, on the, you know, the Christian Sabbath. So we meet on Shabbos. But my dad said, it's okay, you know, this is for a good cause, music. So he takes me, I walk in, I see my name. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're glad to meet you. And uh, you just, your name, your number will be, you'll see the corresponding C. Walking, 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 walking trombones, French horns. I'm sitting back with a timpani. <laughs> oh my God, I, there's 32 violins and I'm number 32. There's the first section of 16 and I, so me and the trombones and the tubas, we all became great buddies. You know, I'm learning their parts. But, um, but what it was is, because my mother was, loved classical music and, and she would play Rimsky, Korsakoff's Eastern Overture, the 1812 Overture of Tchaikovsky. Uh, Borodine, Glinka, she loved the Russian fat, rich, sonorous melodies. And now I'm playing them. And it's like, and then it was like, then it clicked. Like, wow, to be in the living organism, an ensemble that breathes and moves, and you're important. It's like the corporal. So every, you know, the, our organs uh, have to work in tandem to be healthy. Uh, that's when I began to love the violin and come home and want to practice, want to practice. And every el everything else is history. So thanks to Mrs. Baker in Detroit for giving me the opportunity. Uh, of course, my parents were willing to, to save up enough money for me to be able to rent the violin. And thanks to my violin teacher who gave me the chance to compete and get accepted eventually to the, to the youth symphony. And I played it for like six, seven years. I loved it. All kinds of music, you know, and, uh, and you know, and then the violin. Then violin, uh, but I, I never thought I was going to be professional. It was just still a hobby, a hobby I loved truly, but it was never. It was a vocation. No, it was an advocation, not a vocation.